Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Feeling pretty good today. We are on our way back from Idaho looking for housing. We've got housing. So we're gonna be moving in just under three weeks to Idaho. Great, well I'm down here in the San Rafael Swell. If you remember, on the other side right over here, that's the highway heading down to Goblin Valley. On the other side, I stopped a while back and just kind of walked up the wash. My wife joined me a little bit, if you remember that. And I happened to mention, well maybe try across over where these hills are because it's got the same layers here. And sure enough, I've already glanced down here and you can already see stuff over here. And here's one that I've already picked up. <laughs> cool little Jasper nodule, Jasper agate nodule. So exciting. So I'm just gonna wander around here and see if there's anything good. And of course, here's the GPS coordinates to where I'm searching. See if there's anything good. And if there is, come out and check it out for yourself. I really wanna get on the other side of that sometime because I think there's a lot more exposure than here. So sometime we'll get over on the other side. But for now, we'll just search here. So immediately you're in a layer full of rocks that have little jaspers and agates all over the place. Really cool. Some of them have got those cool formations on them that we're familiar with here from the San Rafael Swell. That one looks pretty nice. Nice. Here's a complete nodule. Probably should take that back and cut it open. So this is kind of the colors to expect around here. Got that red rind, a little bit of yellowish purple in it. Yeah, it's nice stuff. There's a unit here where a bunch of them are coming out and have a lot of calcite in them, kind of a white calcite. Not great, but there's a lot of it. This has some crystals in it. it looks like it might be celestite or barite. Maybe gypsum. Let's break into it. Okay, I broke into this and you can see it looks like gypsum to me. They're cool, pretty neat crystals, but they're pretty fragile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gypsum. So I'm down in the wash area, and I found this piece. Looks pretty solid. Might be pretty nice inside. I'll take it home, maybe get it cut open. So I'm over here at the hills. I hiked up a little bit. That's where I parked over there. So. It looks like most of the layers, especially down low, are mostly gypsum inside of these nodules, which isn't great. But right where the car was, kind of right below it, that was where I was finding the good quality stuff. Now I did find a few good pieces kind of just washed down in here. So I don't know if it's like in a zone or if it's a particular layer. So to check that, we're gonna follow that layer over here. So I think I'm gonna walk across, go there, and kind of work my way down, and just see how it looks coming that way. And that'll help us find out whether it's a zone or a layer. Well, I walked all across that and didn't see any more of these higher quality ones. So yeah, they might just come in little pods here and there. But we'll, we'll find out more when we get over there. Okay, just found two more high quality pieces down in the wash area below this hill. It does make me wonder if the layer I'm looking for is higher up. But instead of going up, I'm just gonna go over that way. So I walked all the way across and over here, and in those same layers, I was constantly getting the same thing. And now that I'm up here, I'm starting to see small pieces that are nice quality. So I'm starting to think it's not a layer. It's like little pods or zones where better things are coming out of. And if you get an area that's been weathering for a longer time, so when you're down there, this are fresher, these have been weathered longer, the stuff that tends to stick around is the higher quality while the low quality breaks down and gets moved off. So that might be what's going on. But I'm definitely seeing some higher quality small pieces over here on these hills right here. And I, I'm just parked right over there. So on these hills, before you go over to those, seem to be better. Here's this little one I just picked up. It's just a thin little piece, but it's quite nice inside. Kind of a mix of Jasper agate. This one has some of uh, those fun little botryoidal shapes on it. Nice. That's a decent looking piece of jasper. It's got some nice color in it. This one has some nice little purple dots in it. <laughs> I 
That's a good looking Jasper. A bigger one of those, please. That one's yellow and in the center looks purple. Cool. Here's a bigger one. Might be able to cut that one and who knows what it'll look like inside. This one's much darker. It's got more purple in it. That's cool. Look at the red in that. Oh. Oh wow, look at that. Okay. Now things are getting exciting. <laughs> Some bigger pieces of that, please. The one next to it probably looks like it too. Yeah. Oh, look at the butt red on that piece. Not quite as rich in color, but it still looks cool. That one's got a little bit of clarity to it and some banding right there. Well, kind of banding. <laughs> this one's looking pretty cool. A lot like that first one I picked up. And then look at next to it. Quartz. Got some quartz crystals right there. <laughs> Very nice. So that one seems to be mostly solid. Hmm, maybe I'll take that and cut it. And what's this here? Okay, a lot of pieces around here look like this. Here's this one cut open. This edge of it broke off like I thought it would. But this side stayed intact. Very nice. Look at that red moss going through it. Really cool stuff. That's a decent looking piece. I like that line on the bottom. That could be cool. That one is very yellow. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got those like red spheres all through it. Yeah, I like that. So here's this one cut open. It broke a bit. But look at the inside on that one. Beautiful. Love those little circles all over. Huh. Again, another one that seems to have pretty good color. Very nice. Another cool looking one. Yeah. Look at that one. That one should cut nicely. And I'm thinking it'll look pretty good. Let's take a look at some of these other ones here. Are these any good? Nah. Not that one. Maybe. Looks like it's got a good color. Here's this one cut open. Yeah, I'm gonna have to smooth that off a bit, but yeah, look at that one. Some nice red and purple colors in there. That one goes yellow, red, very stark. Yellow, red, yellow, red. <laughs> there we go, a nice nodule for cutting. Here's this one cut open. Nice. So it's more of a classic one that you get out there. I saw this and thought that's pretty cool because look at the light coming through it. That's really cool. That one might be really nice inside. We'll have to cut into it. Another decent looking piece with some good color in it. It's got some good purple in it and some more good purple. One of these things is not like the other. Where did that come from? Some kind of stream pebble from another layer. Huh. Very strange. Another good botryoidal. Close to the other one. Okay, I'm going to search around right here and see if there's more good botryoidal pieces. Okay, I wasn't finding any more good botryoidal pieces, so I thought, oh, there's only two good ones. Oh, that's the wind. I just found another good one. Yes. Let's see if we can find more. Up near the top of the hill, I found this one. Not as good as the others, but still decent. Okay, we got this interesting one. See how it's got all the crystal growth in there, the gypsum and stuff? Well, look over there, botryoidal. Huh, there may be more in this thing, I don't know. Either way, I'll take it back because of that. Look at this one. So it's broken, but look at that cool pocket in there. Look at the nice banding there on the edge. This would have been a good nodule. I may take and cut part of it. Cool. Look at that, that's beautiful. Look at the contrast on that. That is really cool. Huh, 
Just found this one. That is nice, solid. Looks jasper. That one will probably look really nice cut open. Here's this one cut open. Broke on that side. And look at that. That one is neat. Very unusual to get that yellowish color in there. That one is really cool. That one's really pretty. And I'm back at the vehicle. I'm kind of kneeling down trying to block the wind for you guys. This has been a pretty good area. So it's really close to the road, easily accessible. It doesn't have quite as much or the quality of the stuff you normally get from the area way out there in the swell. But for a lot of people, it's more accessible. And so by far the best places were this little hill right over here. So here's the road coming in and we're right at the GPS. And then this hill going that way is where I started finding better stuff. So maybe explore in that direction, heading down toward the main river. Really cool spot. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, remember there is treasure everywhere.